Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, we are going to be taking a sneak peek at Soul Burst Icicle. Yup, it is finally time for us to have Soul Burst Icicle. And honestly, dude, this Soul Burst kind of dumb. I won't deny it's kind of dumb. And yeah, I'm taking a peek at it today, and I'm honestly pretty excited. Now, I have a Bane of Haste esque team here for a specific reason and we'll we'll get into it you may be wondering why the freaking heck do you have dora go on bane of haste we'll get to it but yeah here we have our icy ghoul and i'm running a brawny with secret ability now look expertise is completely and i mean completely fine to use with this exact same set you could even use one that eat is doing in one of his in his how to use video but i wanted to go for secret ability for one reason and one reason only to hit Luminami really freaking hard, right? That's my whole idea. And yeah, with the Brawny, we're able to hit as hard as possible, which is always nice. And yeah, we've got an Icy Burst, just so we can have our Soul Burst. And yeah, here, with the ability, we have Power Jaw. Biting, biting attacks deal 50% more damage. And here, we have Rejuvenate, Ice Hammer, Fade Away, Mega Chomp. Now, you may be wondering, why do we not have Chili Chomp if this boosted by 50%? The reason I have that is because once I Soul Burst, Chili Chomp is going to be weaker than Ice Hammer. And Ice Hammer is just a really strong move in general, so it's fine, really, that I don't need Chili Chomp. I'm mostly going for Mega Chomp to hit Luminami really hard before I Soul Burst, right? Then we have Fade Away, which is amazing paired with this thing's Soul Burst ability, which is called Party Trick. What Party Trick does is it sets up Bane of Haste, and it is a one-time use. But Icicle's Soul Move also sets up Bane of Haste. So you effectively can get up to five turns... Of, or not five, up to ten turns of Bane of Haste with Isagul. And then you can set up Bane of Haste when you Soul Burst, get your Fade Away. That's four turns, right? I decided to pair it today with Hollow Bunch as well, because Hollow Bunch is really strong under Bane of Haste, and it's able to hit Obstetragon really hard, which pretty much walls Isagul, and is good into Luminami. And then here with the training. I'm with 136 health, 52 energy, 200 range at melee attack, and 112 range defense. 112 range of defense after soul bursting gives me one higher than my melee defense, which allows Protagon to get a plus one attack boost, which is nice. The 200 melee attack is just so I hit as hard as physically possible. 52 energy allows me to use one rejuvenate um, and then four of any of my moves at, after I soul burst. And then 136 HP, just leftovers. I was making, um, a little bit before this video, I was making a set with Eat and he was not happy with this. We made it earlier. And he was not happy with the 136. He's like, I'm going to do it anyway. And yeah, I think it's fine because you already have a really good defense stat. I don't think you're ever going to get one shot, right? You are very, very bulky with Soul Burst Icicle. And, you know, that's the whole idea. And honestly, I am pretty excited. Now, the reason I brought Dorigo is because of Surrogate specifically. Because when I Surrogate, I am taking um, Party Trick, which then set up Bane of Haste again. Meaning I get even more turns of Bane of Haste. And then I just have Slap Down. And it just has that form of speed that I could possibly use. But yeah, that is the whole team, and without further ado, let us hop to the first battle. All right, here we go, fighting a shirtless man. All right, so let's see here. Um, we fade away, we fade, we fade away, Mega Chomp, fade away, um, fade away, fade away. Our fade away is free. That's amazing. We're always gonna be able to click fade away. The real question is, do we want to lead with it or not? My problem I kind of have here is the Erupted Dawn, but I, I should be able to beat it pretty easily with my Gargolem. So we're going to be bringing that. And this also is the Bane of Haste one I was using before. And let's bring some enchantments. And this is really freaking strong as well. So we're going to be bringing this. And then Waka Laka has a Thunder Strike for the Shot of Source. So we're also going to be bringing that. And I think this team looks fine. And my only real problem here is probably the Wind Tricks. But generally speaking, the lead here should always be in my favor, right? Because I could just, just switch in and set a Bane of Haste. So here we go. They start off with Stratosaur. Okay. <clears throat> and this might actually work out really well in my favor. What I do here is I'm going to Soul Burst into a, into a Fade Away. Now look, I, want to, I can't say this enough. Do not ever Soul Burst and then use Frightful Surprise. Frightful Surprise will set up Bane of Haste. But because you also set up Bane of Haste with your ability, it's going to get rid of it instantly. So you always want to wait before you use Frightful Surprise. So it's never... A, you might not even click this move that often. But I'm going to fade away here. And here's my soul burst. Let's go. <clears throat> we soul bursting. 
The Soul Burst Isagool. Here we go. I think it's Incarnate Isagool. So let's see. Here we go. Boom. Dude, I love this soul. Look at this. Yo. <laughs> He's so cool. Party trick. Cast Bane of Haste. And I get the outspeed and I fade away for some very good damage. Now he gets his frail armor boost, but guess what? It doesn't freaking matter. We can freely go to Waka Laka here, which has insanely strong moves into the Stratosaur. So this is going to be really, really good for us. Go for the Magnify. I could care less. This thing is basically dead. We're going to Thunder Strike here. And they're dead. No, look at this. We get to pivot while setting up Bane of Haste. It is duh uh, um and I love it so freaking much. I love it so much. I did, I never think Soul Wars High School will be very, very good in, in double battles. You just get to set up Bane of Haste immediately, right? Like it's an instant speed control. And we take down Stratosaur. It's dead. It's dead. Goodbye, Stratosaur. Oh my god. Walklock is in on the field with Bane of Haste up. No damage taken. Um, let's see what he goes into, though. He's into Joltooth. I have a Gamma Pulse. We're gonna hit this thing really hard. Bamboozle might not even kill me. Go for a Gamma Pulse. And it crits. Oh my god, this is going well. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! And they're into Eruptodon. We're definitely dead to Dark Surge here. But we can get a Psycho Blast off here just for some big, big damage before we end up going down. And we... Dude. Lava... We're, we're, we live. We live that. Oh my god, bro. We get burns, though. Generally, I'm not concerned about the burns, so it's fine. Um... Gonna Psycho Blast here. I didn't... Oh, Mag... Not the Magma Block. Okay. So, we're definitely gonna... Bane of Haste is going to go down in two turns, I think. It's actually down now. So, all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to die, and that's fine. And we have Dorigo, but we're not going to go into it yet, because we want to try to surrogate Party Trick. He does have Fire Breath. He just didn't use it. Intriguing. Okay. Here, honestly, I'm going Icicle. I'm going to go Icicle. And I'm going to go for Frightful Surprise, setting up my Bane of Haste again. Frightful Surprise, now. I don't think you can block these, right? Bro. That is so lame. This erupted on as well, boring guy in the whole freak. And he gets any crits me too. Dang. This erupted on the magma block erupted on. I, di I didn't think, I thought, I guess protection is different, right? Uh, we didn't bring Dora go. We're going to go into this for some barter for speed control. And then we can also get our near enchantment up. So we have options here to win this game still, right? We're still in a fine position. They're into Chienta. So we barter here every time. We get we just get this thing to be super duper 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 slow. Then we set up a near enchantment. <clears throat> then we rejuvenate with Icy Ghoul when we get it on the field. And then we should be able to live a hit Protein Shake. Not the Protein Shake. He goes for Radiant Rush. Just near enchantment here. Doesn't really matter what happens here. I get to near enchantment into a Baneful Bash. And that did a lot of damage, by the way. So it's definitely Sharp Claws. To go for a Bulk Up. Um, not the greatest thing I can't deny. But it should be fine still. Baneful Bash should do some good, good chunk there. Ice Hammer. I don't know why you're not clicking Radiant Rush when it is literally right there. Just click it. And, okay, we go down. I don't think he has enough health to survive a Mega Chomp, right? He does not have enough health. Realistically, I get to go into the Gargolem attack and then we defense and we win the game. He, just, he shouldn't have enough health. We have a lot of attack power. Boom, and he's dead. All right, let's go. And there's one more turn of Bane of Haste right now. And it is Wind Tricks. And that is going to be an Ice Hammer. Though, this might not be as over as I thought. Peace of mind. Wait, Bane of... Oh, I right. It's not enchantments. I forgot it's not... Uh, This might not actually be over. Um, is it? Did I lose? I might have just lost. No, I won. Brain Freeze didn't do enough. Woo! 
Um, eat the range defense. See, eat. If, it, if I didn't have range defense, I would have died. So, ha. Well, that was a good game. Let's hop to the next one. I remember watching something with Millie Bobby Brown, like candy floss. I'm pretty sure that's cotton candy, right? Anyhow, we're gonna go with Icicle here. Again, our fadeaways are really strong. I absolutely am loving Hollow Bunch again as well. I'm gonna try to go for the gimmick of setting up Bane Face for a second time with Theo. Um, this is fine as well, right? This could be good into the Chartiki though. And that might be needed because this Chartiki could be annoying. Uh, and the last thing really can be anything. Could go barter for some speed control, enchantment options. I mean, I always near enchantment, right? Um, or I go with this and we just rely on Bane of Haste to do some Demoglio. I'm going to do that. Um, hmm. See what happens. This is kind of scary. I don't know what the leads should be here. As they are into Chienta. Yo. What are the chances our ice, our, not our ice hammer, our mega chomp kills here? Right? I am not confident, honestly. Um... But why not, you know? This could be where we go Hollow Bunch immediately, then just sweep the game, right? We have a lot of offensive options here with Hollow Bunch, so we're going to try to get this to work. <clears throat> I mean, I don't live Radiant Rush, right? I never can live Radiant Rush, but getting my Bane of Haste up is the whole objective of this Icicle, right? That's the whole idea. Does my Mega Chomp... Max Brawny. This is the hardest hitting possible Mega Chomp you could possibly have on a Silver High School. And it gets a crit. Oh my god. I don't know if crit matters, actually. I don't know if that matters or not. In my heart, I like to say it doesn't. Turn 1 crit, though, is uh, great for me. Bad for my opponent. See what he does though. What's his retaliation? Chartiki. Um, don't I just mega chomp? Because I can always live at least one hit, right? Oh, he's slower. That's like shackles, I think. I don't think that's how shackles works, right? That's just way slower than me. Go Billiforge. Billiforge should always underspeed it, right? We're slow as heck. Okay, nice. We get a melee attack boost as well. Okay. With Bane of Haste up. Um. I guess I just Boiling Press. Oh, that's not great for you, buddy. That's a really big hit. Oh my god, Bill of Forge. Let's go. And we're just sweeping. We're just gonna boiling press here. Do they soul burst? If they soul burst, they get rid of Bane of Haste. But they can't kill me with any move. They have no move that can kill me. So this is always fine. And I always take at least one hit from it, right? So no, this is this is just perfect. This is literally perfect. Oh my god. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> Bro. I'm enjoying myself. Yo, the pattern Tyson. Oh my god. Main face curse ends. <clears throat> he outspeeds. Oh, he sets it back up for me. Thank you. Leon. Setting it back up for me is such a nice thing for him to do. <clears throat> Who knew that in this event you'd say Bill of Forge would be sweeping an entire team? Because <laughs> I, I sure didn't see it coming. Holy crap. Tartiki is in. I just get to muck blast here. <clears throat> Goodbye, Chantiki! What's his last? Is it wobbly -es? Oh my god. 
Holy crap. There ain't no way. It's a Kabunka. Robra Kabunka. Is it gonna dodge? What move? He wants to show me a move, apparently. What move? <clears throat> What's the move? I'm curious, honestly. What, what, what do you want to show me? Just rest? Okay. I'm, I'm not losing anyway. Oh, yeah, this move. Oh my god, that's not gonna do any damage either. Because it's quad resisted. The blossom shell! It's boosted! <laughs> no, I took 10 damage. Ain't no way. Oh my god. That is amazing. Oh my god, that is awesome. <laughs> Billiford's just sweeping the team is so comical to me. Oh my god. We're now fighting a Decidueye. I, I doesn't really look like a Decidueye. I'm, what is with all the Chientas today? I know I... What is going on? Oh, we're gonna do you. We're gonna do this, obviously, because that's pretty good. Uh, I think we always gotta bring this just for, like, that. You know? <clears throat> Uh, I want to go for enchantments and hollow bunch. I feel like this team is just great into him, right? We just got to hope that the uh, Charonic is not prismatic, right? Chance of it being prismatic is kind of high, but I feel like we could be able to beat it. We're going to have to find out though. As they're into Buzzelin. I'm an icicle, right? Oh my god. My soul burst into an ice hammer. He dies. Even if he's boots, it doesn't really, really, really even matter at all. Because mm, mm, mm. school is awesome. I love this soul burst, dude. I can't even lie. Such a cool soul burst. Because it, it, it enables so many different teams to actually function now. And now Bane of Haste is up. Is that get my ice hammer? Is it clutch plushy? No. And Buzzlin falls in a singular blow. To Soul Burst Icicle. Oh my god, this Soul Burst is broken. Holy crap. No, we saw this before. But the crit. Last time I crit. Did, did the crit matter last time? Let's see. The crit mattered last time. Ooh. Um. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I still have, what, three more turns, right? My hardest hitter is Hollow Bunch, right? Yeah. Buzzling being dead is good, too. I think we always go Hollow Bunch here. Uh, lowest costing move is, is Life Drain. <clears throat> um, yeah, so the crit mattered on Chanda. You need a little bit of Barb's Chip, but who cares? Honestly, like, I think in that situation, I just needed to switch out. Blowtox is in. Actually? No, we're fine. Don't I just hit this thing as hard as I can? I just Nova Blast into a life drain. Nova Blast. Baneful Bash. I get poisoned first try. Now I have to worry about this if, thing, if this thing is baneful. The ability, not the move. Um... I'm not killing it if I don't Nova Blast. I'll just hit it as hard as I can. Why not? What's he do? Charonix? So this is Prismatic. No. It's not. Let's go. This is the best day of my life. I'm not giving you back your health. You don't deserve to have it back at all. No, not at all. 
Not at all does he deserve it. <clears throat> and he's into Halvantic. I just get to go for a near enchantment. <clears throat> this is the only thing I'm actually that worried about. I can't even lie. Volt Shell. Okay, I should take that well. Right? Ouch! Uh, the para is insane. This guy loves getting status. Like, loves to status me, huh? I'm gonna far enchantment. I think if I get both enchantments up... Okay, now I barter if I can. I am paralyzed and I am dazed. What is happening? Yeah, that that was expected. I can't lie. I, I would have loved to barter that, though. That would have been awesome. You know, that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing, exceptional, superb, and awesome. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go blue. Let's go for an EQ here. You're, this is never breaking me. This never can break me, right? Plus, I'm immunized, so he can't status me either because we've seen a trend. So, he's into bloat, and that just gets the kill. He's dead. <clears throat> Now, Charonix in for Frostbeam, right? If Charonix comes in, I Bane of Haste. Now, it's just game. I win. It's just over now. He's Luster Loot. Bro, where's your freaking Frostbeam, man? Where's your Frostbeam? I mean, I have Bane of Haste up anyway, so it's fine. Near Enchantment is down. I just slap down here, get rid of his item. I'm not going to hit that hard because he didn't proc my Rageful Plushie. Which is a little bit annoying. No more health amulet though, so we can't get passive recovery. Blind Spot Batter. Now that's what you call tech. Let's just EQ here. Why is he Blind Spot Batter Charonix? Uh, I don't get the kill. Just barely don't get the kill. Do I not just win the second I hit this? Right? <clears throat> I was at 120. Had I nosedived, I might have actually been able to save my energy using another earthquake. Maybe. I think I did had I went for nosedive. And... No, maybe two nosedives instead of two earthquakes and I kill the Tronix. Uh, I just wait here and I go for the earthquake next turn. And it is oh, And I can't be immune. I am immunized. And hey, we got the late game claim of Gargolem Defense for. <laughs> what the heck did I just do? Okay. You know, what a W. <laughs> Oh my god. Soulburst Isagul, man. I love this thing. Alright. Here we go to the next one. We're fighting a monkey. Another Chient. Literally, what is happening with Chient? Why is Chient so popular? What happened? What did, what did I miss? I could maybe... I mean, I think Bane of Haze can be great this game. I want to try to do the strat where I set it up again and then sack this. I mean, I basically went immediately with Gargolem Defense, right? Because it has, what, Slapdown, Earthquake, uh, Nosedive, Nosedive, Slapdown, right? And then this is kind of just here to also sweep the game with, what, Metal Blast, Earthquake, Muck Blast, or Boiling Press, Muck Blast, and Muck Blast. Holy crap! We just go Billa Forge and we win the game immediately. We hit everything quite effectively. Yeah, that's just a GG's, huh? Not the, the second Billa Forge sweep, though. Um, I just soul burst here. Do I fade away? I think I can fade away, right? I fade away on his flash and flee into hollow bunch. Dude, I absolutely love this soul burst. Like, you just get to fade. It's, it's amazing. And once baffle gets nerfed or reworked to where it'll lower a, an, an attack stat instead of your speed, I think this will be much better. And now we just we just fade away for half his health. Dude, I I I, I just I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is this is fun. 
I'm having a good time. I, I if I get parried, I swear. My God. Uh, Spectral Burst is the best move because it costs the least amount of energy, meaning I get to hit as hard as possible in the next turn. Spectral Burst. And we take down the Ikazune. Also, why did he Electro Burst when I had Soul Burst Ice School? Like, I mean, Fire Breath is right there, right? So you always click that and not Electro Burst. Maybe he was predicting me switching. But what am I going into, right? If anything, I go into Gargolem, and then even then Flash and Flea is still the better option for you. I mean, now he's facing off against a Hollow Bunch under Bane of Haste, so I get to hit him like dummy hard so oh friend i'm pretty sure you're gonna live but hey yeah he lives that's fine he does he driving pep jab i live that though oh yeah i live that huh uh spectra versus cost the least amount so we have the most amount of attack for the next turn and i think we're soon, we can keep repeating this and it doesn't really matter what happens. And then we switch Icicle back in, right? And then we go for Frightful Surprise. Holy, I love this Icicle, dude. And they go into Tatab. They're into Tatab. Let's go for Spectral. I mean, once they get Hollow Bunch in, I just get to spam moves that do damage. And it's very hard to stop it, right? I feel like it's hard to stop it, because Light and Bug is actually not bad coverage, in my opinion. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. How? I love it. This is the greatest experience of my life. Oh my god, I'm having fun. That's a Chienta. Uh, this is the one thing I can't really beat, so I just get to life drain it. I actually lift that hit, surprisingly. Okay. And... I would do half. Hey, solid. Let's life drain and kill it. <laughs> do we even kill it? Frost Punch. Is that the very nimble Sharp Claws one? I did not. I don't think how much... I don't know how much I like that set. Oh my god, he doesn't have any more health. Wow, I have like no, I, my attack stat doesn't exist right now. Holy crap. Dude, I have a 64 ranged attack stat. No. Yeah, I'll hit the Akalos as hard as I can though. I mean, I just hit it as hard as I can, right? But I'm dead either way. He gets his aggressive boost, maybe. Honestly, if I'm him, I go for Drudge there. If I'm him, I go for Drudge. Um, Let's pick our poison. I'm just gonna go Icy, right? I go Icy. Go for the festive or frightful surprise. Go for frightful surprise and just spam this thing with moves. And it's Jover. Hydro Slash. Oh, that tickled. Frightful Surprise. Dealing a very great amount of damage. We cast Band of Haste. Let's go for Mega Chomp twice and then ends off the game. Wow, this mod is just... Shh. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> I don't have any other words besides, like, I just love it. Right? Oh my god. I love Soul Burst High School. I think it's poetic to end it off fighting Jimmy Joe Bobby. Okay. Again, we just get to do this. We do this. Do this to surrogate to set up Bane of Haste once again. Um, again, Billa Forge has what? Boiling, Earthquake, Metal Blast, Earthquake, 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 Boiling. Holy crap. You're great this game. Uh, and I do this for speed control. Oh my god. This is just great. I haven't had this much fun, like, doing stuff in a while. Can't even lie. I really just think I double Mega Chomp this. It's not killing me, right? Unless it's, like, um, plushy. Then I feel like actually I should go Dyborg. The best I can do to hinder the Terradescent, the better, right? So I'm gonna do what I can to hinder it. Slash, that's the light type one. That's a crit. That does a lot. Um, let's near enchant it first. <clears throat> then I'm gonna barter it. 
I get double crit? Seriously? Bro, this guy's... This guy's got that luck. That's crazy. The double crit. Man. Dang. Because if that doesn't happen, I, I I get to barter. He's slow. I go Billiforge. I Metal Blast. He's dead. He goes into, what? His Dokamori for an Earthquake. I get to go into Icicle, which blanks it. Then I Soul Burst into an Ice Hammer. No, that was that was literally perfect had I not gotten flinched there. Or not not crit. The crit there totally matters. Which is what's so sad there. Band of Face is now up. Mega Chomp comes out. Can I get the flinch? Can I get the flinch? No, this guy just... That tickled me. What? I thought that would do way more. I think Illuminate Teradescent's okay. I could actually see... Um, Dokamori coming in here is what I was thinking. But I guess not. Not uh, uh, ice and we kill the Teradescent, taking it down. Beautiful. Our offensive capability is not bad either. We have a 132 attack stat. It's honestly crazy. Is there into Billiforge? Fair. It's honestly fair. I can see a fire move coming out here. We're just gonna go for the fadeaway. Right? And then we're gonna try to get our Billiforge in. Or I could go into Gargo. I didn't bring a Garlem. So I'm actually weak to this. Oh my god. So this is slower than me. That is slower than me, but I don't think I have a speed stat. I do have a little bit of speed. But I... Maybe he's not very sluggish. I mean, you're heat wave, so why would you be? I mean, now I have my fire type moves boosted. Let's just earthquake here. Dang it. I have near enchantment up, though. Yeah. I'll take him out, but... I lose a lot of health in the process. Okay, but I think I have one more turn of Bane of Haste, right? I should have one more, which means right now I'm in a very good spot. Well, I can't lie. I'm not happy with the crit, right? I'm not happy with those crits. Why is he going to this? I have Boiling Press. Oh, because you know his Bane of Haste is going down maybe? Doesn't really matter. You're getting one shot. <laughs> sure. Okay, Bill of Forge just popping the actual heck off. Bane of Haste is down, right? Yep. We lose Bane of Haste. They've lost Teradescent. They have lost Dregadine. And they have lost Bill of Forge. So they have two left. They have Isagul. Do they set up Bane of Haste? No way they Soul Burst, right? No way they Soul Burst, right? That's a huge throw if you Soul Burst. That's a throw if you Soul Burst. Right? You're not soul bursting. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to click a move that hits me super hard. Thanks! Thank you, dude! Oh my god, he's so nice giving me that boost. I think I gained more health out of that than I lost. I might have. I, I think I gained more health. Oh no, that is amazing. And Hunter is in. But, let's be honest. Is Hunter killing me? No. Hunter's not gonna kill me. And that ends off the battle. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Now look. I think that this Soul Burst is probably my favorite one so far. Like, you set up Bane of Haste. And, like, Rain and Trick Room have always been some of my favorite styles of PvP to use. And the fact that th this team worked so well, which is so funny. Everyone had their moment. We had the Sweeping Gargolem. We had the Waka Laka going wild. We had Billiforge getting, like, two different sweeps. Honestly crazy. We did not get to see the Surrogate uh, with the Party Trick work, though. But it, it works the way I'm saying it does. But, yeah. With all of that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see everyone in the next one. And goodbye.